Hello, hello, hello. Kick back, relax. Let's have some happy hour deals. And we've got some sewing, uh, and, well, publications for you, basically. If you love your sewing, if you love your quilting, if you love your designing, if you love your painting onto your quilting, uh, onto lovely artwork, onto, onto lovely fabrics, then this is the hour for you. And I've been having a little shifty through a lot of the books and I've, I've picked out some little favourite moments that I like. Um, but uh, I'm sure you're going to love elements of them. Now, this is the happy hour deal, so you know as well as I do that prices will go up. They will increase at 8 o'clock. So the happy hour deals are only for this hour and this hour only. Shop ahead on the web. Let's see what publications we've got coming up for you. Very well-known one there. Tilly and the Buttons. Yeah, we've got quilting. Uh, we've got sewing made simple. Do you know what? Oh, you see Lottie's favourite, my producer's stitch. This one is mine, sewing made simple. That's my favourite, but uh, yeah. I, do you know what? I picked out that organiser. I was looking at that one, the, the clear organiser. That's, that's a good one, that one. There's a little pouch as well, the drawstring pouch. See, the see it all pouch. Then you've got um, paper piecing and design. So cuddly. You're going to love some of the designs in there. The, the hat and the fox stole, and the poncho. The poncho. It's just fantastic. Yeah. So uh, so creative is the first one. Look, let's see. That's the one that Lottie liked. But um, they're all brilliant. Uh, I've got my favourite there. So so creative. Uh, Thirteen projects to make and tons of techniques, including, you know those neck cushions that you have sometimes when you're trying to like, be on the plane and you're like, oh, I can't get comfortable. And, you sit, and sometimes when you're sitting in a car, you can make one of those. Uh, obviously, we've got the hand, print, hand printed actual aprons there. Um, that looks like a, just a big donut cushion, doesn't it? And it works out, how much a project? Just over a pound a project, but this is one of my favorites. I thought this was genius. The chalkboard backpack. Isn't that brilliant? So you have a piece of piece of material there that obviously you're painting, um, yeah, with that chalk paint, and then you're making a sort of a drawstring back, and then you can have the writing on the back. Here we go, and you've got your step-by-step -step design there, and all your patterns, obviously, and then uh, yeah, there we go. Gymnastics rocks. I just I just thought that how did you have you ever seen anything like that? I've not seen that. The chalkboard drawstring back. Okay, so that's just one. Then, oh, we've got the um, animal, the critter coin pouch. It's an uh, animal bag, basically. Um, there we go. That's what I'll, the animal neck pillow. You know what I'm talking about, don't you, now, when you're in the car or on the plane. Isn't that gorgeous? And then you've got, oh, aprons there. Let me have a look. We've got some techniques at the start. Oh, there you go. There's our hand printed apron. We've got how to make a beanie hat. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the little shirt as well. So, lot 14 different designs in there. The little skirt with the pockets, the love hearts or the patches, and, and that sweatshirt there with the cactus on. Um, so, loads of gorgeous designs in here. And really, what I loved about it, loads of colour pictures, because I'm sort of very visual, obviously. And then, really, really easy step by step. Even how to cut out your pattern, front and back there. Design ideas, just really easy to follow. Isn't that gorgeous? From experienced teacher and popular blogger, we'll have to look her up, Jennifer Paul Collin. Gorgeous, isn't it? So 13 projects, I think I said 14, I do, I do apologise, 13 projects and tons of techniques at the front, you know, sewing techniques, about ironing on vinyl. Um, yeah. Absolutely fantastic. And it says from ages eight and upwards. Yeah, for the projects, yeah, for ages eight and upwards. So that your little drawstring bag, we can actually sort of get the, the younger members involved as well, which I think is no bad thing. So £13.99, you're saving yourself £3 there. 546337 for So Creative. So what I love about it is there's just a few different, different ideas there. Bags, pillows, clothes, DIY. It's a bit different, isn't it? Gorgeous. For eight years and upwards, then. That's for the younger members. Now, I know we, we often go into search engines when we want to solve problems and what have you, but this this is like having your expert sewer with you. You know when you forget certain things? You and your sewing machine. So it's obviously not just going with one brand of sewing machine, okay? It's for any brand of sewing machine. And it's written, and this is the interesting thing, by an expert sewing machine technician with over 42 years of experience. So you learn how your machine works, you learn how to keep it happy, how to troubleshoot the common problems. Now, where do you think I've put my little post-it? Well, where do you think I, what do you think I was interested in? 
problems and how to fix them. That's where I went straight away. Oh yeah, because I'm like, yes! All those years I've been like, those, that, I mean, you'll know your expert, you, that happened. That happened, I was like, what is going on? Things with tension with me bobbing, tension with me pedal foot. And there's this great explanation with this picture, because it's, it's a technician, about trying to, when the presser foot is, is involved, and uh, the top thread doesn't enter the discs, and then therefore has no tension. And then it'll be pulled back at the back of the fabric and, and create long loops. That, that just explained it for me so simply. I thought, this, I thought this book is genius. It's absolutely, it's like having the, the fantastic sewer technician there with you. Other maintenance, you've got uh, oil in the hook area, the upper part of the machine. There's a brilliant picture in here, cleaning and lubrication. There's a brilliant image of the machine with all the kind of mechanics. Let me find it for you. The um, front of the machine, there we go, look at that. Look, that's how when your machine is uncovered. Yeah. So it takes you through loads, probably loads more than you probably would need to know. Um, but absolutely, so getting to know your sewing machine, maintaining it, obviously, problems and how to fix them. So, you know, the machine features, and like I said, this, it's for any machine, so how the stitch is formed. I mean, it's just, it's just brilliant. It's like Tomorrow's World. Do you remember Tomorrow's World? You're all too young. Uh, it's sort of explaining it. Can, e email me in. Email me in if you remember. Do you remember that, Ben? There we go. See? Haley's waving at me. She remembers it. They would obviously talk about things that were going to happen <laughs> in the future kind of thing, uh, but explain things as well. So, yeah, I should just say this is a brilliant book. You know, if you... The, we all know them, don't we? Are the, the, the geeks in our family, the, the, the geeks that we love, but they like to know geeky things like this. I'm, I'm a bit of a closet geek, so I, I like to know things like this as well. So you and your sewing machine, I think that's brilliant. Anyway, seventeen ninety nine. You've got a three pound saving, but again, come eight o'clock. Obviously, that price is going to go up. Three three zero eight six. It's just a bit different that. Yeah, love that. Straight away, I went to the problems. Now, so. The Garment Making Book. Now, this is brilliant. L let me just turn this around. Everything your mother would tell you about sewing, if your mother sewed, that, that is exactly what this book is all about. So it's like having your mum there, if she was a sewer. Your mammy, as we say in Ireland. Your mammy, mammy, mammy. So what do you think I've gone to in here? I've gone to, is it Barbara? What's the lady's name here? Yeah, Barbara's Tips. There is this brilliant, it's not just about tips, but there's this brilliant thing about buttons and on a coat. So if you want to have a button that floats on the surface, yeah, of the fabric, now it doesn't pull or pucker it, what you need to do is slip a matchstick under the button, under the shank, as you sew it. And then you sew it, and that elevates the button, and then when it's complete, you pull out the matchstick and you wrap the thread around the shank. And that secures it so it doesn't fall. I mean, I think that's just genius. That would never occurred to me. I've been faffing about. So there's Barbara's top tips in there. Um, you've got, oh, there's some, there's some uh, things about the sewing machine. Do you need a, uh, an overlocker or so cool things to have? What about a new sewing machine? Smallest needle, the whole point of the... Oh, God, it's all about the fabric there, the pressing station. Let's have a look at the front, because that's much quicker. We've got wearing with ease, pattern changes, pat how to start if you're a beginner, how clues to a great pattern, when to ignore the pattern directions, patterns for sewing knits, a patternless, hemless knit skirt, more Barbara's tips, coordinate your clothing, how to decide on an authentic approach to making clothes, Barbara's, what sewing can do to you. When you sew, I think what you make most often is life, not just clothes. That's nice, isn't it? introductions for sewists like you and then it's just it just gets full of useful information a place to slow so big gear sewing machines and accessories i think you should tell i think you should email me or on the facebook let me know what it is what are your sewing needs because i've got the book for you here today have a repertoire of hand sewing stitches what, what's that you got... <laughs> oh dear that reminds me of a story that does uh, I can't remember who was telling it. Oh, and then there's like a useful, useful sort of dictionary about the bias and binding and blind hem machine. So this is a, this is a catalogue of absolute genius. The thread, thread rolled hem, chain stitches, cover hems, flat lock stitch. Yeah, it's just brilliant. So the garment making.
book of knowledge. Real life lessons from a serial service. Good old Barbara. Brilliant, brilliant book there. How many pages have we got in this book? Because it's a right old meaty one. Two, there's over two, 254, 255. Yeah, 254 pages there. That's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, there's Barbara. Want to see what Barbara looks like? There she is. Yeah, there's Barb. There we go. There's a code at the bottom there. So, US dollars. Mm. I mean, it's US dollars. That's 30, that's 30 dollars. 20.99 save yourself four pounds everything you need to know about now would you well you know you know tilly and the buttons busiest item already on the show make yourself comfortable it says this is a gorgeous piece of work here so and you do you do get some patterns in the back so there were three patterns in the back in fact and we had three patterns in the back for a hoodie Let's see, memory serves me right what we were looking at earlier with me and my producer Lottie, lovely Lottie. So you had the Stella hoodie, you had uh, the Bibi skirt and the Freya sweater and the Frankie t-shirt. So, yeah, Stella hoodie, Frankie t-shirt and the Freya sweater, Bibi skirt. There we go. So it's almost like four patterns there. So you get those as well. And then the book itself, which you know very well, Tilly and the Buttons, um, Sewing with knit fabrics. Ooh, that's good. Make yourself comfortable sewing with knit fabrics. So we've got this incredible itemised content here. So shop, prep, cut, stretch, stitch, school, the baby skirt, which we have in Chapter 3. The actual, there's the baby skirt there. The Frankie baseball t-shirt, which you get the... There we go, if I show you the picture there. There we go, that's the Frankie Baseball t-shirt. That's the baby skirt. And then they've got the Freya sweater, which can also be the Freya dress as well, you see. And the Stella hoodie. There we go, so you've got all of that in there. There's an introduction to Tilly there. Love at first stitch. How to use the book, what are knit fabric fabrics? Why sew with knits? I mean, I did this, it never even occurred to me. You will need, but what's nice to have, so it's not telling you to go out and buy everything. Jargon Buster, what's top stitch, what's the seam allowance, what's the edge stitch? So it's coming at it from a point of view that you might be an absolute novice. Shop, prep and cut, chapter one. Let's get ready, let's go shopping for fabric. It's almost like she takes you, takes you by the hand and guides you through it, lovely. And then, yeah, your personal shopper with you. Then lots of stitching advice there as well. Um, lots of pattern making, uh, measurements, pattern sizing. Really good guidelines in there as well for that one. Really good. Make it, making it easier for you there as well. It's a beautiful looking book as well. Then there's one about jersey tips and tricks, you know, with the fabric itself. Because it's, some fabrics are harder to work with than others. Yeah, fantastic. Under stitching. Mmm. So... That's, uh, again, a, a meaty-sized book there. How many have we got in this? Uh, 188 pages. Gorgeous. So if we just look at the Stella hoodie, let's look at one of the patterns here. So again, I think what it's got is different sizes on there as well. Wow. Whew. We're going to have to stand up here with this one. Stella hoodie. The sleeves. The lining. I don't want. I don't want to tear it. There we go. I always. I always do. There we go. Let's go a bit. There we go. There we go. I know. It's pretty. It's pretty compre comprehensive, isn't it? There's your pattern now, and off you go. See all the different sizes there as well. Wow. Stella hoodie front bodice cut on the fold. Sleeves. I'm gonna have to leave that to Ben to fold up. I'll never get that back again. It's like a map, isn't it? You unfold a map. You can't ever. You can't ever get that back again, can you? There we go. There we go. Ben, that'll keep him happy for at least a good hour. <laughs> Probably no Ben. Two minutes. There you are, darling. I've made a right mess of that. There we go. Lovely. All yours. Uh, so there we have Tilly and the buttons. Again, fabulous saving there. And I can tell you, normally. So already, do you, mind, do you mind me saying it's already a, a saving price? So normally it's £22.50, so there we go, £18.99. I don't really think I'm making it up. Don't want you to think I'm making it up, because we've also got the US dollars there. The other ones you see, they've just got US dollars, so it's pointless. And I don't know what the dollar rate is at the moment, so I figure that's just 
uh, uh, pointless saying that. Although that last book was about that, wasn't it? But good price there, £18.99 and proven very popular already. 784375, nearly a quarter of the stock already gone. Tilly in the buttons, yeah. Now, teeny tiny quilts. I didn't get time to look at teeny tiny quilts because they're all tiny. Uh, Oh, but you know, you, yeah, I did look at this. You've got your quilting, you've got all your different quilting designs in here, which is what I liked. So we have got um, the fractured, we've got the primary squares, the charmed, Pat's warp and weft. I'll just leave that there. Uh, parade, star crossed, Philadelphia cobblestones, round and round we go, coloured glass, box of jewels. Perker, Perkiaman Paths, and a bit of the fourth. A bit of the fourth. These aren't designs I've heard of before. Is this an American book? Is it? Yes, it is again. This is an American book. Uh, Parade, you see. Full version of this quilt years ago. I've been itching to make it a small one. The little one brightens my day just as much as the big one. Skill levels. You see, you've got skill levels there. Easing you in. So not too OTT. Now what are the what are the ones? Oh, you see, they, that's blue, so that suggests to me primary squares. And again, just how do you, how you actually get all the lovely patterns and shapes there. What level's that? Ooh, it's a blue. Oh, testing the waters. Now, do you think testing the waters means I'm just dipping my toe in, so it's quite simple? Or do you think testing the waters means testing your metal? What do you reckon? Testing you, testing your metal, or do you mean just dipping your toe in? Just dipping your toe in. Let's see, does it say it in the book? We're here playing guessing games, and it probably says it in the book, doesn't it? About this book. No, we've got sewing machine information, a bit about threads and rulers, um, ironing supplies, okay, cutting, machine settings. Where's the little guide about? Uh, no, nesting, different, oh yes, nesting that seems right, uh, sewn at the angles. These are all familiar when I've seen the lovely sewers on the show. Uh, finishing miniature quilts. Oh, here we go. Great, this is what I want. So, we've got the testing the water quilts are for using simple techniques like basic strip piecing. A stepping stone to working with smaller pieces. Easing in half square triangles and there's a bit more complexity to the design. Then finally, we've got diving in. Bit more intricate in their piecing and require a bit more patience and accuracy. Now it says within each of the 12 patterns, there's the option to make the quilt in two or three block sizes. So gorgeous, isn't it? Small quilts, smaller quilts, and the smallest quilts. There we go. From smaller, smaller, with block sizes from one and an eighth to six inches. Oh, there's great tips and techniques for any quilt to look at a piece more accurately. There we go. Yeah, absolutely fabulous. Uh, Twenty ninety nine, and again, only until eight o'clock for the, all of these savings. They're just such, they're lovely gift ideas as well. If uh, if this is your hobby, five two six two eight seven. Lovely. Now next one. Ah, oh, the so the sewing organisers. Was it we're not going to sew so cuddly? Where's that then? Oh yes, your yes, okay. And the, 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 this is a the, the, this is lovely. This is a lovely look. See the see the see all pouch. This is what my producer liked. The sewing organisers, pretty cases, boxes, pouches, pin cushions, and more. Isn't that lovely? This yeah, you're going to like this next one as well. So there's our see all pouch, the drawstring pouch. Yeah, but there's, no, there's another one I've got, what got my eye on. Okay, here it comes, here it comes, you ready? Genius! Genius! If you're sewing, but it's the bobbins in the middle. Genius! That's brilliant. The interior shows you how to do all that as well with the zips. The boxy pocket pouch. Look at that with the two boxes in. Genius! The boxy pocket pouch. Love it. The big zip pouch. Everybody needs a big zip pouch in their life, whether it's the toiletries or General bobbins. Boxes and totes. Love a tote, me. Yeah. Totes, very cute. I know, how much would a craft tote got? The sliding box. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, you put your hair pop pops, hair clips, hair bobs in there. 
Uh, we've gone backwards now, haven't we? So let's go forwards. See, that's all your little pouches. Then we've got... What's that one? Oh, that was a... The, I see this is one I like, the book and tool folio. You know, for all your tools, there's a better picture as well. Now, you see? The two-in-one case. I can see through it. It folds over. Keep all... Again, all my gubbins. All sorts of... Whether it be sewing gubbins or not. Then have a look at this one as well. Great ideas. Isn't that brilliant? Your little sewing travel kit there. Beautiful. Tells you how to make it. Really easy. It's the instructions. Just really, really simple. And not overcomplicated. And look at this. A cover for your measuring tape. I mean, who'd have thought it? Not me. There you go. Cover tape measure case. Little carry case there as well. The pouch. So you have the, yeah, put your glasses in that. So your phone. Handy fold up pouch, either or. The needle book plus. They're always cute, aren't they? The felts and stuff. Yeah, passport in there. Is it worth anything now after Brexit? Ooh, controversial. We're not getting political now, Fiona. Oh. <laughs> now, basic sewing techniques. That's, that's a really good book. This is, this is my producer's favourite, Sewing Organiser. So uh, bring in your order to your sewing supplies, adapt the useful containers, the, the organise your knitting projects, scrapbooking, learn how to install zippers, sew with vinyl, make three-dimensional shapes, give your project the structure. Always a good one. Uh, with a proper interfacing. Again, fantastic. Anila Hui, that's the author. £19.49, 740 Four, another great book there. Sewing made simple. Okay. That's so cuddly. Ah, oh, this is my favourite. This is my favourite book. If you're a beginner or need to refresh, it was the need to the refresh I needed. Your sewing skills, this is book, this is this is just the book you need. Yeah. Twenty fantastic practical projects with clear advice. And it, it just gives you those tips and tricks, you know to give you that professional result. Love it, 20. Now, let's have a little look. So it's just a good refresher, I think, as well. Or just starting out, you want to take somebody on the journey with you. So here's our contents. Secrets of the machine, stitch craft, the paper pattern, fabric choices, sewing skills. And then we've got projects, you see. Pajama bottoms, camisoles, Sundress, wash bag, cushions, drawstring bag, bolster, love a bolster, customised t-shirt, vintage apron, pretty cushion, evening purse, child's craft apron, the bias cut, drawstring skirt, the box cushion, tablecloth and napkins, table mats and a baby quilt. So it's, I just think it's a really good, for the love of sewing, the sewing box, so taking you through identifying elements that you might need or haven't got or you think what on earth is that um, again all the different elements there is zips snaps studs and hooks and eyes ribbons and bows then a bit about stitch lengths stitch craft I like that that's very clever stitch craft yeah, actually using the pattern, explaining it to you, how you should be matching it up, especially if you've just started sewing. I think this is brilliant. Pinning and cutting out, tailor tacks, pattern marking. Okay, um, I think this is a beautiful book actually. Great, well, I love pictures. The fabric construction. So often we talk about that, and Haley talks about that on the show as well, um, in terms of those woven patterns and what have you. Cottons, fabric glossary, always useful. Then a bit about pressing, a bit about the sewing and overlocking and getting started and seams, you see. It's all stuff we take for granted, isn't it? Those, well, the fantastic servers amongst you, but if, you, if you're starting out, this is just your, your go-to, your A to Z, isn't it? Cotton darts. Camisole, how to make the camisole. Then the gathering with ease. Yeah, gathering easing. I like that. We're coming to what I've highlighted here. I'm trying to remember myself now. Um, stitching separate zips. The wash bag. That's a lovely project as well. So what did I highlight? Piping and cording. Yeah, a bit of piping. 
just caught my eye. That's what I wanted. I was interested in bolster. Love the bolster. You can make those. You know, when you stop a draft, just not. I mean, just not just posh cushions for your city or your, your sofa or, but uh, stop a draft. Then you've got uh, all, all the extra. That's lovely. Isn't that beautiful. All the extra projects then there at the back. I just thought this was a lovely book. Really good go-to. If you're starting out, or like you said, just refreshing those skills. Brilliant. Yeah. So it made simple, and it really is, because I was reading quite a bit of that earlier. Uh, hey, that's a fantastic price, £13.99, yeah. Usual price. It says it on the front there, £16.99. It says it on the front of the screen, but it says it here as well. £16.99. Yeah, so £13.99. Now's the time to get it, 118842. A great gift if someone's going to start on the journey. Your must-have guide to everything needle and thread. Yeah, I, I genuinely, genuinely have to agree with that. That is a fantastic book even if you know it's just a refresher or you, you want to get someone started on that fantastic sewing journey lovely gift ideas aren't they They're beautiful beautiful books right next up what are we have next the art quilting book now i've got my elastic band in this because i ran out of post-its but explore innovative processes and there's a lot of innovation in here here we go because it's about painting so We've got design theory and inspiration, then quilting supplies and tools, working with the fabric, surface design techniques, add in dimension, quilting by hand and machine, finishing techniques and presentation. Beautiful book. Let's have a little look. Fantastic. The, the, the artistry and the photography of these books is, is brilliant, isn't it? Um, well, let me just get my elastic band out because there was a, something that caught my eye. We will go through it. Yeah, the surface design. Introduction to surface design. And that's dyeing, dyeing your fabric. It's brilliant, isn't it? Just having all, and with the wool and the different fabrics themselves. Soda soak recipe. I mean, that's just brilliant, isn't it? These fantastic techniques as well, they get forgotten or they need to be passed on. The texture dyeing. Yeah, painting your fabrics. See, it's all got the step-by-step -step guide there. Rolled fabrics, scrunch fabrics, <laughs> the different techniques you can achieve. Oh, now you see we've got a bit of painting on there as well. Painting fabric and dry fabric. Isn't this great? Oh, look. And then getting creative with the vegetables. Onion and our pear and our apples. And then using the different techniques. Look, <laughs> if you've got the brush at home, or the wire brush there, or a bit of um, gauze. The different te isn't that fantastic? The different techniques you can uh, achieve with just what you've got lying around in your kitchen. That's brilliant, isn't it? So you don't have to go out and buy posh stencils. Just have a little mooch around your kitchen, see, see what you've got lying around, and uh, create stencil. How to create? Literally create the stencil itself. Isn't that beautiful? Very innovative. Oh, there's something there with a the, the glue stick there as well. So loads, loads of really unusual design ideas. Look at the script work on there as well. Um, branching out, more surface design, actually getting the writing on there as well, script work on the actual material. So again, a very, very different book, but the, the design techniques are, are just amazing. Adding Dimension, I think that's a beautiful book as well. Perhaps, you know, for someone a little bit more explorative or innovative or just wants to branch out a bit. And then... Quilting designs, then again at the back, you've got some ideas on how to take them forward with stitches and then some explanations of, of said stitches, what they look like, and then perhaps if you didn't know some of the names for them, a little glossary there as well. Yeah, beautiful. So, another, another great book, um, sort of expanding your, your quilter's tool book as it was. So, lovely step by step guide. And then obviously like we, we've just concentrated on the studying of the dyeing and the printing on the fabrics and the embellishments and the dimension. And then last bit, gain practical tools and inspiration you need to find, translate your ideas to fabric. Fantastic, gorgeous. So £17.49, we've got a saving of £3.50 there. Your guide to the art of quilting, 209057. Okay, next we've got the Free Spirit Block Party. Now, I, must, I won't lie, I hadn't had a chance to look at this. This is where modern meets traditional. 40 blocks from your favourite Free Spirit designers. Ooh, now you've got 20 talented artists, it says, that share 40 modern quilt blocks. It says, think outside the box. 
with five surprising sampler quilts to flaunt your finished patchwork, patchwork applique and other paper piece blocks. Each quilt requires four, six, nine or fifteen designs. Choose your favourites and finish a sampler in no time. Okay, so if I just turn that around, because I was, I was just reading that bit there. Wow. That is a lot of designs there, isn't it? You see those there? Well, let's look at the big pictures. It's quite, it's quite teeny weeny. So we've actually got, oh, look, we've actually got the uh, patterns there as well. Yeah. Glamping. Oh, let's go forwards. Yeah, so they've got the construction, which is brilliant. The coronet. Oh, these are lovely. So sampler box. So your construction, a coronet, finished block there. Isn't that beautiful? And then obviously how to put it together. Nice and clearly explained, you know, not too much writing, just the visual picture because it speaks a thousand words. Actually, how you're cutting it out, how you size it, how you measure it. Diadem. Diadem. Uh, sorry, diadem. 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 Revolution. Oh, I like revolution. It's a bit of a crisscross, the construction of it. Uh, corsage. Oh, I like the Arizona. Isn't that lovely? That's lovely, isn't it? And then on target. Oh, that's that's a bit different, isn't it? The on target one. Circular rather than angular. Yeah, loads. Of, oh, look at that one. Beautiful. So, again, fantastic set of projects there. Nineteen pounds ninety nine. Three two five eight two eight. We're going to have a little two more books because we've still got our so cuddly and then we've been through them all. So adventures in paper piecing. Here we go. So build your piecing skills with over 30 graphic uh, paper pieced blocks. Learn how to translate your images and sketches into full project patterns and then sharpen your pattern design skills. Choose your own adventure style exercises. Oh, I say. A bit of paper piecing, you can't beat it. Here we go again. Another lovely book. So we've got our intro there, the method, what you'll need, top tips, and then how to start putting it all together. I know it's a fantastic skill. It's, uh, well, actually, Sue, isn't it? Sue from Daisy Chain. She loves a bit of paper piecing. She's fantastic at it as well. So it seems to be a, a skill that, uh, I don't know if it gets passed down from generation to generation or gets forgotten about, but... It's made, it's made a real resurgence again, isn't it? It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's so clever. Look at that. Even, if, even in your card making, your craft making, not just with material, it's, it's amazing, isn't it? Design patterns there as well. Everything you could need to know about paper piece in there, actually. Wow. And then, ooh, it gets a little bit complicated there as well. Look at that. So it's something really structured and intricate. Isn't that beautiful? Loads of different pattern ideas there. And then obviously the patterns. Gives you all the names there and how we should be folding them over. Like that. It's nice to have those patterns. That's amazing. And then, again, all about all the different folds, how to achieve the look. The octopus, he's good, isn't he? The fireflies. Amazing. Wow, that's a book and a half, isn't it? Fantastic guide, that one. Uh, £17.99. Eight two eight nine two three, beautiful. Now, I've got to show you the pictures in this one. Are so cuddly simply because the poncho, the little foxy stole. <laughs> it's lovely. So with plush fabrics, you know, like um, like the soft the laws and, and things like that. You can see, yeah, and some lovely hats as well. So these are the projects: hatchlings, a lovely stroller wrap, clutch purse, animal hats. Gauntlets, what's a gauntlet? We'll come to that. Reading pillow, poncho, fox stole, colourful floor pillow, lovely cuttlefish, sleep sack, and a bath mat. All made out of those really soft, luxurious plush fabrics. Look, that stole, that fox stole is just lovely, isn't it? Really beautiful. There we go. So, again, great projects, really easy and simple to follow. Very eye catching these ones with those fun fabrics. There we can look at them. Aren't they gorgeous? <laughs> Beautiful. I can see having a lot of fun with this one, actually. So there's our. What do they call that? Make you a stroller wrap. Oh, that's for your big, for your buggy. Someone's going to be cuddly and warm in that. 
They cost a fortune, them little buggy wraps. That's what you need, Lottie. Uh, a couple of clutch purse if your hands get cold, like me. And then I'm interested in what they're called. Oh, there's your animal hats. They're gorgeous. They're very cute, aren't they? Hot fox hat, skunk hat, and uh, the cat hat. I'm not sure you'd really want a skunk hat. Maybe you look like a Mohican head. But Pepe Le Pew and all that. Um, Gauntlets. What's a gauntlet? Oh, is it like a glove? Yes, it's a glove. It's not my word for it, but have you heard of gauntlet, Ben? Have you heard of gauntlets, uh, Hayley? Have you really? You knew them gloves? Oh, for the wrists. Do you know what's something, something else I heard the other day? Uh, slanket. Have you heard of slankets before? I oh, know, I've never heard of it. It's like a blanket with sleeves. No, it's a blanket with sleeves. A slanket. It's like, what's she talking about? <laughs> this is like, my mum got stood up, and, not my mum, but this friend of mine was telling me, she, says, she stood up in a slanket and fell over. So, what's a slanket? A shumper. What's a shumper? A jumper attached. Oh, what? A shumper. What's one of them? Hayley's telling me now about shumpers. Is that, did you just make that up? No, it's on the radio yesterday. Was it really? She heard it, she heard it on the radio yesterday, a shumper. She says it's a shirt that's attached to your jumper. Now I've seen those. You have the little collar and maybe a little bit of the shirt peeping out the bottom. But I didn't know there's a word for it, shumper, but slanket is a, is a blanket with sleeves. <laughs> Where do they get the gauntlet from? Because gauntlet for me is thrown down the gauntlet. I suppose it is a glove. You know, and throwing it down anyway. So fingerless glove and keeps your wrists warm. Anyway, apparently if you keep your wrists warm, you just your hands will never be cold. It's all about your wrists. I just think that's just called a lazy pillow. Should just be now. Now you just need it. Look at that poncho. Now we're talking. And oh, the fox doll. I mean, that's just fun and funky, isn't it? Well, it was really, really cute. Beautiful. Yeah, I think that was. Was that? Oh no, we've got our our lovely bath mat there as well. And a sleep sack. Ah, very cute. They've got those little little ones now as well. I'm sure you could adapt it as well, you, like like sharks and mermaids and stuff. But anyway, loads of fun ideas, lots of cosy ideas. They're fifteen pounds and ninety nine nine six eight nine zero two. It's the happy hour deals on all of these books, and then all these prices will revert back to their original price at eight o'clock. So don't forget to check out your basket but uh, let's find out about how we can become a freedom club member hello everyone i've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of hochanda freedom did you know that with hochanda freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month for just a six pounds 97 monthly fee you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery which means the more you spend with us the more you save and do you know the best bit you can cancel at any time Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings-on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family
Indeed, lots of savings uh, to be had, especially if you were watching earlier with myself and Catherine because there was loads of freedom discounts. But it is happy hour, so do shop ahead. You've still got 20 minutes to grab the bargains. And uh, what I love about the collection is there is just such a fantastic array in terms of whether you're a quilter, a paper piecer. Let's have a look at the web because you can shop ahead. Yeah. So we've got uh, Tilly and the Button Stretch, proving a popular favourite at the moment. Uh, teeny tiny quilts. You see, you've got stitch the pouches and the organizers i personally love the refreshing ideas in sewing made simple the art of quilting the block party is more about your painting and your textures there so cuddly is all about those luxurious fabrics yeah gorgeous get a flexi order if you're putting a few into your basket thinking gift ideas ahead or you someone's getting started on the journey or you're thinking, well, they know loads about quilting. But another favourite of mine is for, for the geeks amongst us. Everything you need to know about your sewing machine to keep you and it happy. Written by the sewing machine expert technician with over 42 years of experience. Learn how your sewing machine works, how to keep it happy, and how to shoot trouble, trouble problems. Give us, give, us a, give us a sewing machine problem, Ben, and I'll see if I can fix it. Go on. What do you want to know? Needle breaking. There's, there's machine needle threaders, how a needle threader works. Now, it could be here a while now trying to find this, couldn't I? <laughs> I can tell you the, the relationship between the needle size and the thread. Forming stitches, how they form. <laughs> oh, now hold on a sec. I'm sorry, I'm gone to that, but you're loosely wound bobbin and you're properly wound bobbin. Parallel. what? Par parallel wound versus cross wound thread never even never even occurred to me the wrong size of your thread stopper the threading guide incorrect threading making tension ad adjustments what could go wrong i mean just look at this not towards the bottom i mean just simple it's, it's the brilliant term tomorrow's world <laughs> pictures that bernie's provided us to explain it so we know what the difference is that's what i like for your geeks it's hardier ever than the tension. Right, let me see. Does it say about if my needle? Well, if your needle breaks, you just replace it, don't you? Just put the other one in. There you go. There's my answer. I didn't even have to look at the book. <laughs> Setting the top tension, bottom bobbin tension. That's not easy to say. Right? And all about the intricacies in the machine. Well, it tells you how to do all the, all the threading as well. Yeah? Good questions, but it, uh, it's all in there. Taking out the bobbin case, using the stitch regulator, lubricating it, lining up with the feed dogs, edge, which foot, feet to use, servicing a walking foot. Yeah. There we go. £17.99. It's like your geek guide, but I, I really I really like it because it's explaining the whys and wherefores. 330860. So creative. Um, Gosh, it's hard to read these all upside down. Is that this one? That's the sew, the garment. There we go. So this is a bit of everything. DIY, clothes, bags, pillows, and more. And there was more, I think, just for those neck cushions. Because you get, when you're in a car, or when you're on the plane, they charge quite a lot for those, don't they? You can just make your own. So loads of good ideas in here. So a little bit of the basics at the start, top of the, top of the book. And then... Lots of different projects as well in there. Sewing techniques, always handy, always useful to have a little look at that. And then we've got, again, some top tips. Sizing, you know, measuring, collars. Uh -huh. And then we go into the projects. So this is the one, isn't it? That's that neck cushion. Let me just turn that picture over there so you can see. Isn't that lovely? The animal neck pillow. <laughs> I thought that was the cat's tongue at one point, then I realised it's the paws. <laughs> Could have been, I suppose. So you've got the cat neck cushion, then you've got the critter. Well, it's like a little bag, isn't it? The critter, critter bag. Then my favourite, that's my favourite, the chalkboard. The chalkboard um, backpack. I think that's absolutely genius. Just paint a piece of material with your chalkboard paint. £13.99, 546333. Seven. Uh, sew the garment making everything your mother would tell you about sewing, if your mother could sew. So this is this is because Barbara's got some top tips in here. I was rattling on about buttons, but it's full of nuggets of information. Uh, pressing napped fabrics. 
clearing the plate. Which elastic? Buttonholes in knit fabrics. Sewing smooth curves. How does Barbara know all this? Choose the perfect seam alignment. Changing needles, that's what uh, my director wants to know. Change needles, I didn't know this. Changing needles every four to five hours of stitching. I've not done that. I also like to put a new needle in when I sew buttonholes to prevent skipped stitches in the satin stitch sides. Well, I know. There's a, there's a, a, a verbal warm up. Choosing thread colours, oil in your machine, but it's it, it just got loads in there. Mini lesson in cutting stripped fabric single layers. Don't be afraid of fusibles, linings. Um, oh my word. There's definitions of mysterious names for fabric. Okay, here's, do you know this name of fabric? Bengaline, chalice, clock, dupioni, dupioni. F A I L L E. We know flannel and flannel net. Gabardine. We know that one. Georgette, anybody? Guipure, Guipure. That's a heavy lace. Lawn. Uh, microfiber, muslin, we've heard of. Peau de sweet, I don't know. Pecal, oh, Pecal, is it Pecal? I've heard them talk about this on the show. P E R C A L E, sounds a bit like a bed sheet, but it's a plain weave. Peak, silk, noil, organza, organdi, we know that one. Ottoman, it's kind of a rib fabric. Oh, seersucker. A seersucker, cotton blends. You see, you see that? They're like really softy, softy cotton. Stable knit, twill, viella. Oh, see, that's why you need Barbara's tips. Um, so it's view of natural fabrics. Don't be afraid of knits. Knit or woven, it all starts with fibre. She knows. Then all the different patterns, how to cut the patterns, how to sew the patterns. It's fantastic. The first princi principles of pattern alteration. Choosing pattern sizes. Jacket sleeve and length. Other, other useful measurements, different hips and heights. See? Brilliant. Bust depth, interpreting pattern masks patternless ideas, when to ignore the pattern directions. That's a great book, that one. Everything your mother would tell you about sewing, if your mother could sew. £20.99, 042428. What's that, my darling? Tilly and the Buttons proved very popular. Comes with three fantastic patterns. He's done it. Look at that. Which is the one that I opened up? Can't tell, can you? It's good, that fella. Stella hoodie, we've got. We've also got the Frankie T-shirt. And then we've got the baby skirt and the Freya sweater. So it's almost like four patterns in there. And they come free with the book as well. And then, I mean, how much would one of those, just the dressmaking pattern cost you in itself? And then you've got a wealth of information in here in the book itself. So let's open this up. There we go. Everything that this book can cover. So some of those patterns, the baby skirt there, the, 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 the sweater there, and there. Yeah, that's what it can help you make, the Freya sweater. And the dress, the Stella hoodie. Yeah, lots to learn. Lots of tricks. Maternity dresses. 182, need this one for my Lottie. You've got nothing to wear anymore and you're just getting larger. Oh. This is what happens when you're with a child. Maternity dress there. Some more ideas. I like that in that fabric. It's good, isn't it? Isn't it lovely? Oh, there we go. It's not a huge amount on that one, but uh, it's there. Sewing on elastic. Oh, a bit of ruching going on there. Very nice too. What else we got? Some lovely pictures. Oh, hello. Hello. The sequin skirt. Oh, do you know sequin? Sequins can be so problematic to sew, can't they? She's got it sorted there. There we go. So, make yourself comfortable. That's Tilly and the Buttons. 18.99. 784.375, saving £3.50. Lovely Tilly there. And her patterns. Teeny tiny quilts. Not just any quilts. These are teeny tiny quilts. Uh, how, many, how many of these did we say? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Can't remember. Loads of different ideas there. It doesn't say how many projects, does it? No. Uh, there are... Hold on. As you flip through the pages of the book, you'll notice a lot of sample quilts. In fact, there are 35 of them, but only 12 patterns. Mmm, curious. Well, 
It seemed to me that it would be helpful to allow newcomers to ease them gently into this new small world in graduated increments rather than being thrown in head first. So each pattern comes with three sizes called small, smaller and smallest. There we go. Again, some great sewing machine facts. I like a bit of facts about my sewing machine. Mats, rulers, threads. We will get onto the quilts. Again, iron supplies, materials. Uh, oh, look at that. Sewing all the scraps, like that. And then we move on to our quilt ideas. Making half square triangle units. Mm. Appealing to all styles and fabrics, it says. Lovely different patterns there. Gorgeous. And I like the fact that we've got three different styles, haven't we? We've got testing the water, easing it in, and then diving in, depending on your state of uh, expertise. £20.99, five two six two eight seven. But again, all these prices of sadly will revert back to their original price in 10 minutes' time. Oh, my goodness. Organisers! I know where I'm going now, you see, because this is my producer's favourite. Look at that. This is lovely. Get your sewing area organised, yeah? There we go. Whip your sewing area into shape with your pretty cases, boxes, pouches, pin cushions, and more. With Anila Hui. That's a great name. Nine minutes left on the happy hour deal. Ecky thump. Look. So th what I love about these is, yes, they could be sewing, but you could, there could be makeup cases, there could be craft cases, for your hair bobs, your hair pins, your laundry bag, toilet bag. Travel bag, yeah, swim bag, you know, because you could just adapt whatever material you're using. Just storage cases for, for whatever, really. This is what's so great about them. Organisers. That could be like a little, um, your makeup brushes, travel pouch, or your jewellery, you know, you could, you could adapt it, couldn't you? You know, jewellery pouches. Do they still make those? They still do those. And you go away, do they? Fantastic. This is a lovely book. Nineteen pounds forty nine seven four zero one eight four. Got to mention my favourite again. Sewing made simple because great if you're starting out on the journey, but brilliant gift idea for someone who just wants to refresh those skills. Yeah, fantastic. Everything you need to know takes you through it step by step. Don't be afraid to ask the questions because it answers them. You know, if you've got a query, this book has the answer. The secret says. And then uh, itemising all what, what all the strange names that they're called and the different stitches, what they refer to, guidance, what, what some of the things can mean, on the, what, what does it mean, this, these hieroglyphics on your show, sew machine, patterns, sizing, materials, patterns, pressing, ah, oh, putting them together, elastic, how to, you know, Gorgeous. That's one of my favourites, that one. And again, a great price. I think probably the lowest of the hour. £13.99. 118842. What was that, my darling? Art quilting. There we go, right next to us here. So this was very much about the painting onto the fabrics and creating different effects as well. Was that that one? Yes, it was this one, wasn't it? Yeah. So we had some lovely quilting, but then it took us a stage further, added another dimension, how to do different dyeing, how to how to create the different effects, painting onto the fabric, using implements around the home to create uh, different ideas. That's just using fruit. This is just using what you find in your utensil drawer. Um, creating stencils. Yeah, great. Just taking it to another die and mention, expanding your quilter's toolbox, that one. And uh, lovely embellishments and dyeing and what have you there. Seven pounds for, 17, 17 pounds 49, 209057. Next up, block party. Where's my block party gone? She said she just knew about it then. Ooh, there we go. Freestyle, free spirit. 40 blocks from your free spirit designers. The PK, finished patchworks, and paper piece books. Six, nine, or 15 designs in terms of piecing it all together. So it tells you how to create those lovely block pieces there in quilting modern meets traditional that's how they've explained it and there's some cracking ideas in there really innovative just taking that to another another dimension isn't it aren't they beautiful and then the step-by-step -step guides of how you achieve that with the templates 
so you can understand the pattern motif. Ooh, not lovely. So, it's a world of quilting, isn't it? That is really beautiful. Nineteen pounds ninety-nine, three two five eight two eight. Oh, we've only got a few minutes left before. This is all going to go back to its original price. Please don't miss out for these happy hour deals. So build your piecing skills. Learn how to translate your images and sketches into your patterns. And then choose your own adventure style. So paper piecing design, yeah, the method. The piecing method itself, explain it, taking it through step by step, tips and tricks and then taking you on to actually the design. Yeah, fantastic. If you love designs, I hope you'll stay with me because I'm going to visit lovely Haley in a minute for some rhinestone genie. Yeah, she's a rhinestone genius. She's going to bling me from head to toe. I'm going to be blinged. Absolutely. I can't wait. I was watching earlier. So if you love a bit of bling, honestly, forget, forget the little tiny little tools put them on one by one this is going to revolutionize it's so cuddly again this i think uh, this and my sewing made simple two of my favorites here 12 lovely snuggly gifts for you in the home as well gorgeous 15 pounds 99 968 well i hope you've enjoyed being with me in library corner i know it's all been thinking about your sewing and your quilting that, that was the theme. It's been quite a quite a lovely sewing day, hasn't it, with Rowan Dean and that lovely daisy chain. So, uh, yeah, so make sure to check out your baskets. Don't miss out on the lovely books. And, uh, yeah, enjoy those when you get those. Or if you're gifting them, even better, even better. And real savings to be made in that happy hour deal. Hopefully we'll have a more over the next few days. Well, lots of deals actually going over the Easter weekend. But I don't want you to go anywhere because a girl with amazing deals is coming up next she's got rhinestone bling uh to add to anything and she's got the technique and she's got the savings so don't go anywhere i'll be joining Haley in two minutes time don't forget to check out your basket Yes, it's going to be the Rhinestone Genie One Day Special. Then we got crafting with Catherine and then we'll revisit that Rhinestone Genie One Day Special afterwards. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Hachanda guest demonstrators, all from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are very excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chanda. The quirky and unique design of the Hobbytech tape dispenser will revolutionise the way you use tape. 
Quick and easy to use with a non-slip base, perfect for quick wrapping, gift wrapping and quick sticking, you'll be able to wrap, cut and stick with one hand. To add this to your order, go to hochanda.com. Let's see the reveal, low and slow. I was learning earlier. Oops. Oh, a little that, bit yeah, yeah, no, I'm getting enough heat. <laughs> uh, well, Haley will explain that uh, because the genius of the gem genie, the rhinestone genie, is the ease of application. Because rather than stand there with a tiny tool and apply them all one by one, because actually you did say, I did listen to you early, Haley. you said actually you should leave it just for a minute to cool because mm -hmm. the glue is still tacky. Yeah, there we that's go, exactly see. what's happening. Been a little on. bit too keen <laughs> to take that off. Because probably you should just give that a good minute, a good 60 seconds or something, or, you know, to let that... Because while the glue is still tacky from the warmth of the iron... It is indeed. It's just going to lift off, so... There we go. To be fair. There you go. We were trying to just give you the magic too quick, weren't we? <laughs> there you go. Cool to do it in comfort with a nice yeah. cushion <laughs> oh that's fantastic that is absolutely beautiful <laughs> so this is the one day special it is, Hayley yeah. tell me all about the rhinestone <laughs> okay. genie special well rhinestone genie is a company that's based in America um, and they've come up with this fabulous idea to allow you to add gems to pretty much anything that you like anything that will take heat from an iron as you saw earlier on because it's the heat that activates the adhesive on the back of the gems yeah once that heat has um, melted that glue it will bond to whatever surface you've put on and um, put it on that could be fabric we see lots of t-shirts aprons yeah um, quilts all sorts of things you could be adding those to or indeed you could be using for your paper your cards scrapbooking um, ceramics anything that will take that heat when you apply it to it but it's a really clever design because you don't have to put those gems down individually like you yeah. said yeah Pains the templates me, make yeah. it easy and it's very clever the facets on the gems mean that you can get them to lie the right way so you can pick them up and iron them all in place four easy steps as you can see there create sweep lift and apply that's as simple as it is it's nice and clean nice and easy and then obviously you press it with your household iron but we'll talk about that more well, and how permanent is that glue i mean can i, I i'm not going to go and put it in a high degree wash but can um, i wash my t-shirt cool wash, cool wash turn it inside out as you would with any t-shirt that yeah. you buy that's got gems on yeah. there um, and again don't put it into um, a tumble dryer no. as you would usually find with um, yeah. lots of t-shirts who will tell you not to tumble dry them because the heat will Indeed. reactivate that adhesive and you'll find out that it doesn't quite say the full phrase no you lose it and few. it could be a bit risky let's face it <laughs> <laughs> fantastic so this is the one day special uh, launched uh, at six o'clock there I saw yourself there mm -hmm. the lovely Janice so tell me what are we getting in the kit then Hayley okay well within this box you are getting everything that you need to get started so you've got some clear gems but we have got more gems available which we'll tell you about in a few moments but you're getting two of those die cut plates these are magnetic pieces ah. but once you lay them down perhaps on something like a, a cookie um, tray that yeah. you can pick up from the supermarket metal basically yeah for the that's metal. right and right. Be steel so is that magnet will attach to them they will stay in place you apply those um, a fabulous little um, genie gems as you can see use that sweeping tool the sweeping pad um, they'll all kind of go into place you might need to ease some of them but I'll mm -hmm. give you some of those hints and tips as we go on and then you basically apply that transfer tape now the transfer tape you've got three sheets of those okay that's this um, here I often trim them to size so it would be the idea perhaps to add in some additional ones which I know we have got available yes but that is the start of the whole story story and oh. that's where you want a uh, one day especially such a good deal because you've got £10 saving. Fantastic and uh, this is what I saw you do earlier well, this onto is the it. felt. We've yeah. got lots of finished samples as we go down the counter but with the the, um, the one day special earlier on I used it because of course you've got a full alphabet multiple letters with those so of course if you do need to do names where you've got a couple of A's or two yeah, T's. I noticed that okay. I really like that yeah. Hayley actually two S's and have. two T's and exactly. stuff like that. Um, and then you have got some little additional elements like the star like um, the little butterfly that you've got there is from the next set. Oh, have, I'm naughty. You Sorry have about got that. Butterfly go within with... this because the board here will show you all of those elements okay. in there. So Big butterfly. You've got you a know. larger butterfly than the one that Fiona just shared with you. Um, up at the top there, little hearts as you can see there. Yeah. Lots of fabulous little embellishments that are perfect for whatever project you fancy working on. So we get the alphabet, we get all the lovely mm -hmm. motifs there. Good um, uh, we get our little sweeper there. You do. We get those three adhesive sheets. 
that you said to me were you reusable is that, is that well, correct that's right. yeah. that sheet, you can use i've probably used them three or four times and they they still stay sticky i don't know how long they'll go on for to be honest because they're full instructions as well and you've got um, pictorial instructions there as well as written instructions we've also got a whole host of support from the facebook page and also the company's website and you'll see if you go onto the company's website you'll see some of the ideas that may well be winging their way to us very soon fantastic all for 30 pounds 83 pence 10 pounds saving three zero seven nine nine five and um, of course we're going to see those in action are we going yeah. to are we going to carry on or we're we going to see yeah, i think so um yep. one thing i will mention because the company's based in america and of course we've got an um, easter weekend coming in we're just looking at the first of may for dispatch on those ah oh, right yeah good point used to, but anyway. yeah okay okay but what do I do if I want more bling? I want more for my money. Well, this bundle is brilliant <laughs> because you've got the one day special in it yeah. and some. So you'll be able to see that you have got that sheet that we've just looked at a few moments ago with the uh -huh. butterfly on there and the hearts. Down at the front, you'll see the alphabet. They all come within your one day special. And of course, you've got your clear gems in there. You've also got your um, sweeping pad that you would get. Um, you've got more of those transfer um, sheets than you would. You get 20 this time. Oh, wow. The uh, three that we were looking at. And you've got the addition of two more sheets now within those two sheets you're going to learn how to use two different colors the flowers down at the bottom you've got a double overlay with regards to those so you gem up one color and then gem up a, cent, a second to give it really um, a lot more interest um, and then the other one we've got kind of bugs and butterflies on that <laughs> one yeah i like that I like one. that a lot i love it yeah absolutely <laughs> gorgeous the dragonfly as well that's it now the little butterfly that you showed us on that greeting card that's come from that particular sheet. because you can use it on all yeah. the different materials uh, yeah and then of course all those other little elements depends on how you use them depends on the gems that you want to incorporate gives you those different results that's literally as that sheet is laid out so you have got them in a little kind of odd shape <laughs> odd directions but have a look at those double overlay oh, yes, flowers so i'm intrigued with the different colors there well, you can see the center one here that yeah. center circle is totally different color to the outside mm. parameter as is the case with this one over here you can use the discs in their own right if you want to and then of course you can see on the opposite corners there you have got those daisy like flowers but you are also getting those ones that you get in the one day special as well oh, and look gorgeous. how they sparkle they really do absolutely amazing when the, uh, the light hits beautifully mm, yeah. and what's so great about those templates you use them over and over and over again you do yes yeah, um, yeah oh, look after wow. them. have a look at this if you want to get really creative you've got a little bit of um, painting going on with the fabric here Gosh. so you could perhaps trace around those designs if you wanted to and then add your color do keep those the bits that you tear and um, pull back I'll explain that to you in a few moments because you've got almost like a, um, a stencil that you could paint through and then bling oh, really? it up afterwards if you oh. wanted to get really creative with it it is the waste but well crafters we don't have waste do we? we do know this <laughs> against the law, isn't it? £79.99, 334 711. And we've got the Flexi Buy payments on there as well. Look at that big saving though, £21.71. Mm -hmm. Two Flexi Buy payments of £40, but so reusable uh, once you've got those those patterns and when mm. I just think about things that you buy with just a little bit of bling on yeah. you know like a, a, a glasses case yeah, or yeah, a, a phone trousers, jeans I was oh. talking earlier on <gasps> I had an email come through for a company that I often buy clothes from and they've got gemmed jeans yeah um, and I think they were about 70 pounds and that was 20% off yeah so, yeah not cheap <laughs> not cheap, cheap. What, what do I do if I want more bling you know I've done the well, I've got one day special bling do you want oh, yeah, I always want more Look Hayley this, <laughs> there is those um, you can obviously with those kits that we've just been looking at you are going to get with the one day special you're clear you're also going to get three additional packs if you're going for the um, ultimate set but if you're wanting to make up your own collection then uh, this is the way to do it individually they're 9 99 but if you go for the pick and mix you do get better value because you're getting a saving <gasps> with those wow um, three yeah you are some really nice colors in there top tip from me maybe go for another bag of the clear because i do tend to find i use that one most yeah um but the black really nice if you want to know a kind of classic look the jet black mm. really nice but then uh, yeah fill your boots with whichever the others you fancy oh look at those lovely colors they've got the purples of tanzanite there lovely oh sapphire Easy, blue yeah. oh green emeralds mm. oh you see now i'm a bit hard pushed but it doesn't matter because i can get three for 21 pounds 99 especially when you just said to me you know they're normally about 10 pounds each mm. well that's, that's a it. pretty bargain um you've got 1440 gems in there i'd like to say wow. i counted them but i haven't ah! <laughs> that's going to go a long way 21 pounds 99 631 five four two in fact Haley, just uh, we can just see over our shoulder can there see this, can you see this uh, fantastic yeah that's ruining it 
Look there at this, go. isn't that amazing? Look at the bling from afar. Now, some of these you've got larger pieces with regards yeah. to these as well. Um, but yeah, this is um, Dave's banner when Dave does <laughs> his um, exhibition. You can see why our, our buyers um, saw him when they were over <gasps> in, uh, I think, was it? Oh, I can't think where they showed, because they, they were, um, the trade show that they went to. But yeah. yeah. It would stand out with a banner like that. You would. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> like, just keep an eye on what's going on in the background between myself and Hayley, because there's t shirts, there's um, aprons, there's hats. We've got all sorts that's been blinged up here today. So, uh, well, yeah, I love the fact that it works yeah. on so many different um, And this is the thing, as materials. long as the, uh, it will take the heat, whether it's fabric, whether it's paper, then it will be fine. You'll be able to apply it to your project. Sometimes if it's three-dimensional, like a baseball cap yeah. or shoes, it can be a little bit trickier because, of course, you've got that curved surface. So a little bit of practice and you'll be able to do that. But, uh, yes. Can you do the movement as well? What's that? What's, what's the movement? Splits. You must be joking. <laughs> I do myself a mischief. <laughs> I'll, give you that I'll be honest, I've never ever been able to do the splits. <laughs> no. Could you just back to the arms? <laughs> I can do an Irish jig and that's about no, I can't I can't do the splits. <laughs> oh my you'd have me in hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I think of the forms would have to fill out. <laughs> <laughs> I think of the mess. <laughs> right, okay. What's next? So here we have got a variety of different um, choices with regards to the large um, large um, kind of magnet magnetic sheets mm -hmm. and I know lots of you are going for these and then choosing which of those different um, pieces you want to go through so we've got them in a bit of a jumble because we're having a little bit of a, a giggle and a laugh with these early on. so I'll take that one because that goes with that one okay I, oops a daisy should I give you that one to talk about to yeah. start with okay. I'll get the other ones ready oh. I know why she's giving me this one. So here's our large template um, we've got the large alphabet that you can actually see but this it's called the variety it's got the green shamrocks I'm already there the flamingo look at this we're in the tropical uh, Club Tropicana, we've got the musical notes. I love this one straight away. The poor. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> we've got the happy face. That's, that's just brilliant. The double hearts, the treble cleft, the notes. Love that a lot. And our flamingo, that is gorgeous, isn't it? So this is called the... Um, that one's the variety the set. Variety set. Mm -hmm. So is it all under the one code, Hayley, but with different um, names? Is, yeah, right, different okay. Options. You can choose any one of these for 19.95, but of course, uh, same item, and there's just one person packing. Lovely. This is the variety then. Oh, I see. We've all got That's them it. there. Lovely. Lovely. And what have you got next? The um, large the alphabet? alphabet? that you were looking at. Yeah. That's this particular one. I should have given you that one first, really. <laughs> That's all right. Double down. I mean, just look at that bling factor. Isn't that amazing? When you think of a certain crystal variety, that shall not be named, mm -hmm. and the price they charge. Yes, that's it. Amazing. Goodness gracious. And of course, with this, you can turn your T-shirts into whatever yeah. occasion you like. It could be a hen do. It could be a certain yes. pa a party nickname. for a certain birthday. Nickname. Yeah. could be that you're going to a, po um, a concert and you want the name of your... Elvis. Um, well, whoever you are. I wouldn't advise you go to a concert no, with but, Elvis. Well, he does play every year with Priscilla. <laughs> it's just the images of him. <laughs> I, I just feel he loves Elvis. I just put him everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I'd be wasting your money, Hayley, by <laughs> Might not be the original one <laughs> but there's lots of uh, uh, tribute acts do very very well <laughs> have a look at this one. okay darling what we got now and <laughs> now, oh. this is a different type of okay. um, script i like this one because it kind of gives that hand look um handwritten ah, look yes yeah and the font there because mm -hmm. we've got the uh uppercase and lowercase there great if you are labeling i don't know dance bags for the little girls yes. or the back of sweatshirts mm -hmm. or that's fantastic we all we all love a bit of bling don't we just? And it's really easy to work with these. Each of those little letters is an individual tile. Um, they're all die cut, perfectly sized oh. to house those little three millimeter gem um, gems. Um, and as I say, I'll show you a technique of how to get those in place in a minute. And this one's called script. It is Lovely. indeed. Thank you. It Gorgeous. Is. And we have more. This next ah, set. You might no. like this. I like I this. I do. Set. You know why? Because we saw the T-shirt, didn't we? <laughs> yes. The wine, a wine diva. So there's our templates. That's and it. this is what it can create. And this is nice, similar to the flowers that we saw earlier on. You've got to, your duo colours with these. Yeah. I've not noticed the uh, brandy glass on the side. There, yeah. What? A, that would never happen in our lifetime. Not that would never spilt. happen. <laughs> this is outrageous. Now you've got your glasses. As you can see, they're, they're clear. That's why those clear are so useful to double up on with that pick and mix um, but then you've got your um, tipple of choice in a different color um, showing through there really easy Fantastic. to achieve so this one's called wine diva it as is, you guess um, another font one we've got here see this one's a good value one because this one is your uppercase and your lowercase ah. and you'll recognize the name of it too Ariel. So that's yeah it. you'll so recognize one, that one of your standard fonts on your computer so what about making a card perhaps <gasps> um, with uh, yeah. detailing on there that matches up with a gift yeah lovely yeah. got some nice punctuation there as well little question mark 
So nice, love that. Lots of sparkle yeah. repeats of the letters as well, which I yeah. think is important yeah. if you're doing that names with multiples in there. Um, and then if you are thinking about your Christmas projects, which we're well, Gail was earlier, we're going to have the Christmas to Santas. At some point. Yes, yeah. Um, this one here has got um, all of your traditional Christmas uh -huh. icons. There, you know, obviously your snowman there, your, your reindeer. You could add a few additional gems if you wanted to to the reindeer's nose. Yes! Because um, you can apply them individually as well if you've got one of those kind of wand-like tools ah. to um, apply them. Snowflakes, baubles, mm -hmm. gorgeous Christmas tree and uh, our angel. That's it. But they go on so oh, many yes. different fabrics. I mean, that. here you've got quite Beautiful. a plush velvet style fabric with a lot of pile on it, but it is working. You can see those gems are attached there. Beautiful, um, Hayley. Maybe you're going to be making things like your Christmas gifts. There you go, getting ready for the oh, Christmas like party, this. maybe. Look at that, <laughs> Dad's going to love that. Hey? As a Christmas day, on, isn't it? Well, what about blinging up your jeans? Oh, um, back pockets. Look at that. Yeah. Like that idea? That's fantastic. I love that idea, Hayley. And, of course, you were talking Handbags. about... Handbags. Oh, this. And this one is just for you. Oh, now, come on. <laughs> hey! Now, now you need to do your jig. <laughs> <laughs> I would be after that glass of wine. <laughs> Crikey. That's fantastic. Year, but of course, uh, you've oh, got plenty love of time it. for next year. And I love this one here. It shows you how, if you are traditionally crafting, I mean, here we've got a fabulous oh. um, winter panel here with a snowman and all those fabulous snowflakes scattered around the outside. What a lovely idea. Beautiful. Really fantastic. It can be as simple or as complex as you want it to yeah. be, really. So yeah. adaptable. Uh, all those options there, £19.95, just look at the different, uh, I, I, well, the same code number but different choices, 223710. Lovely. Now we've got the medium size as well. We there, have, here. yes. So some of these have moved across a little bit here. Okay, darling. Um, same item number on all of these. So again, it's choices. I see. Individual. Um, some of these you will see from the packs that we've been looking at. The um, the ultimate set, the double flowers were in there. The um, the bur um, butterflies and bugs were in there. Mm -hmm. This time we've got a few additions with the snowflakes and, and the sewing machine. One of Love my that. Yes, well. and the faith that I can see on the t-shirt behind me mm -hmm. there with that cap. That's right. Uh, beautiful. So we just choose one of these for eleven pounds ninety five. Is that That's correct? Right. It is indeed. Big good templates. Size. Good size. Um, and again, team these up with the alphabets from the Ultimate Set or the um, One Day Special. You really have got lots of scope. And the uh, sewing machine that you saw there yes. is part of that cushion cover at that we saw at the start yes. of the show. Fantastic. So whether you're a keen gardener or a musician or, you're, you know, you're just thinking Christmas or your sewer, the gourd, or even you just like that image of the faith. I think mm -hmm. they're beautiful. £11.95 each, 571587. And then we've got to pick a mix. We Choose have. any two of these. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then these we'll ones see are the smaller size uh, projects. Yeah. Um, but they've still got so much bling with them. When you have a look, you've got lots of choices. And this is the one where the unicorn appears. Oh, um, hello. Yeah, and of course, as soon as you see the unicorn, it's funny, I was um, wandering around the supermarket before I headed up this way. And there's a little girl um, wandering around the clothing department with a oh, mob. Yeah. And all you can say is, Mom, it's a unicorn. I want it. It's a unicorn. I want it. <laughs> um, and, oh, yeah, so hot to trot, aren't they? Little uh, little girls love Aww. their unicorns. Paw prints again. Very cute. Yeah, very popular. Yeah, nice ones. Um, and the little hearts oh, as well. Can't go nice. wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I like the filled one. That's really cute. Well, that's it. Now, we're seeing solid colours with all of these. Some of the um, the actual designs are two-part designs, like the flowers that we spoke of earlier yeah. on. Yeah. But what you can do with some of these is use a mixture of rhinestones in there. Oh. I've been keeping my colours like separate. Like a dolly mixture? Exactly, oh, yeah. okay. So you can kind of have a rainbow of different effects. Oh. That um, charity ribbon, I think, is a really nice one because, of course, you've got all the different colours yeah. that you've got with those gems. If you've yeah. got a charity that you support, then you could be making kind of your blingy lapel um, pins. With those. That's a really good idea, actually. Yeah, if you want it's to create fundraiser. something to yeah. fundraise. And in yeah. fact, anything that we've shown you already, um, at Dave and Rhinestone Jean are really, really happy for you to make and sell. They have lots of people who run small businesses using their templates. And as I say, Fantastic. check out their website. There's a lot more to see on there. Great stuff. Talking of a lot more to see, we have got a little bit of footage of some finished samples, and then we'll see how this wondrous one day special works.
And when you think rhinestones, you think painstaking, slow application. Mm. Can we just mm. eradicate that from your mind now? Because yeah. this is going to blow your mind. Well, this is it. It's so, so easy, and that's the key thing, because I can't be doing anything where you need all that kind of close the detail work. Yeah, I haven't got to. And I'll just end up knocking it, and the whole thing, you've got to start again. So I've been having a little bit of a play, because, of course, with these um, gems, you can apply them to anything, any type of fabric, including your socks. And they will work, um, because if you've got the stretch in there, you can see it's not distorting those. None of them oh, are pinging yeah. off or anything. It is adhered to that really well. So this one has actually been created using one of the little hearts that you get in your one-day special. Ah. I'm going to show you how you can actually turn that into a multi-kind-of-repeat uh, pattern, because it's Great. really easy. Okay. So, first things first, um, these are magnetic pieces. Now, when they come to you, um, I'll pull out one just to show you. This particular one's one of the larger templates. But they are in a carry sheet, and you have to detach them from the carry sheet. Um, and you just have to be careful how you do that, because if you do get a little bit heavy-handed, you might find that you kind of damage where those little circles oh. are, because they're little for, they're kind of like, um, uh, a, 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 not, well, not pierced, but yeah, punched like hole, punched basically, holes, yeah. and it's, you're quite easy to go through there. So when you get to the edge, you'll see that you've got your design all there with that outer parameter edge. Just kind of give it a little bit of a wiggle, mm. and then what I tend to do is I push it one way and then push it the other just to detach it at some point, and then support the elements in the middle and kind of turn the rest of it away from there. So if yeah. you do do any pulling, it's going to be on that bottom part rather than top. And as you work your way around, you can see that you detach it and it's nice and um, clean and you've not done any damage to any of those areas yeah um other thing that you need to do is get yourself a baking tray it doesn't have to be anything uh, fancy you just go to one of those uh, uh, very economical shops that take coins that are around that sort of size <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the reason being is that will act as your magnetic sheet for these to go onto because they are magnets so you can see that they're not going to fall away um, you can move them around so if you need to position your design you can do but start off with that little one as you can see there um, I'm going to work with the red rhinestones which I think come in the ultimate set but of course are in the pick and mix and all you do is scatter your rhinestones over your project be generous with these because any that fall away um, you will still pick those up, you'll still use those. Um, and then you've obviously got your sweeping pad, and your sweeping pad gives you the ability to get those gems in place. And all you do to start with, first action is just sweeping gently from side to side. Now you have to be careful with some of those little um, pieces, because if you press too hard, you'll see what happens, you move, uh, <laughs> you move, the, move whole it, the, the whole thing. So yeah. just to kind of glide over the top, nothing too um, heavy, and then with a little bit of luck, that is all that you need to do to actually get them in place there. And what happens is, these are faceted, yeah. so they will fall in sometimes they do go the opposite side round so you'll see like the gray side which is where you've got the adhesive on the underside there and if they do happen then all you need to do is put some more rhinestones on there and do a circular motion and the faceted side will kind of um, rub against uh, the others to and flip them over. over yes they do sometimes become very friendly and you <laughs> might get two in those little pockets there okay. so you do have to keep your eye open in case you get a couple of little cheeky ones together um, but you can always get a cocktail stick or a pokey tool and just move them out of the way. Now I'm going to pick up um, this particular design using some of the transfer tape. Now with the one day special you're getting three A5 size pieces, roughly A5, um, but of course in the, um, the ultimate set you're getting 20 of those so yeah. you're getting a lot more and I think they're full A4 size as well so you're getting a lot for your money with that ultimate set. Do we have any sheets on their own for sale on the web? Um, I think we do yeah, actually we do. so you can yeah. uh, get more of those. Uh -huh. um, you can see the little dots of um, glue on there. You'll also see some little furry bits and that's because I have used this already but ah. you can reuse it um, and okay. I've used them some of the sheets probably four times five times and they've been okay Wow um, the only thing that's likely to damage them is when you apply the heat if the heat is too hot you might find that they discolor but they're still going to be usable they just okay. have a different we've got extra sheets again. there Hayley 999 you don't have to worry 156403 yeah, get 12 now this anyway. Fiona is where we go so low and, and slow. slow and that is the key thing you get hold of the corner of your tape there and you're going to keep it low you're not going to pull it up at right angles like that you're going to keep it so as it almost doubles back on itself and you're literally going to roll it back nice and slowly and as it goes it should pick up all of those little gems you want to peel don't you rather than pull them exactly, out exactly exactly peel them out um, and then just be careful be quite mindful as to where you're putting that because if you start bringing it over here you might pick up some of those gems that are down at the bottom there um, and this type of baking tray is quite useful because there's a little channel around the edge so it keeps some of them out the way <laughs> um, come back in with that cover sheet 
feet and that will just help you press down and get those gems to make sure that they are adhered to that um, sheet so mm -hmm. nice and easy and then that is one of our gem um, our gemmed elements do you find it easier to cut, to cut the sheets down to size then, did you say? I tend to, yeah. yeah, because, well, I'm a bit of a clumsy crafter. And if I've got an A4 sheet and I'm concentrating on what, what that's two centimetres square, I yeah. will not be watching what's happening on the rest of the sheet. And then all yeah. of a sudden I've got hundreds of gems stuck <laughs> to it. Um, so that's what I tend to do. Now, as we did our sock, we had two little hearts on there, so we need to make our second one. So we're going to go back in with the gems. Again, I should have picked up a teaspoon or something just to get those in place. But again, just get them in there. Yeah. These very Con con very uh, convenient little pots that come with a lid and a man a man, a man brings them to your door with food I know sometimes <laughs> <it's> like, <"Is laughs> you wash them you just keep them don't that's you that's it yeah although the one that I had earlier on I can't have washed it properly because I took the lid off and it's now out of chicken tikka masala but there you go that's another story <laughs> there's an insight into Hayley's life on Friday night <laughs> and again just smooth them from side to side now on this occasion you can see that we have got a few that have fallen oh. um, face down yeah. um, it's actually quite a pretty design I like that one mm. but in order for those to turn around, all we need to do is come back in with some of those gems. Just put your fingernail um, on the edge of the uh, the design so it doesn't move too much. And literally come back in with more of a circular motion. Wow. Imagine you're polishing <laughs> those gems. Yeah. And then you will see that they will flip around. It's really clever they really how they have. do it. You don't expect that to happen, do you? You don't. You kind of hold your breath. It's one of those ones when you do it and you think, oh, please work, please work, please work. And it <laughs> has done. Now, when I come back in with this design, what I want to do is I want to make them into interlocking hearts. Oh. So there's a couple of those little gems that I'm not actually going to need now because they're going to overlap so if uh -huh. I just be careful as I bring this in because I don't want to stick pick any of those up but you kind of can decide whereabouts you want that overlap to be so wherever you want to decide you just take in go in with a as I say a little uh, pokey tool or it could be a cocktail stick in fact it's over that size See, sometimes they jump with a little bit of static so on that occasion I think we might pick them up from over that side oh. and we can interlock those so perhaps if I go for that one and I take that next one out uh -huh. lost my glasses uh, glasses on glasses off I'm at that age sometimes you need them sometimes you don't so on this occasion I'm going to just locate those two little gems that we've got on that little shoulder of the heart there are going to sit in there and pick up the rest of the gems but as you can see I've not really got a big enough sheet but hopefully There'll be enough there for me to get hold of them just about there. Now, if you do have any that jump around, as they can do, yeah. just push your fingernail and push them back in. You'll hear them kind of crunch back into the, their little holes, uh -huh. and then you know they are in place. And there you go. I can go low and slow again. That one on the edge is right on the edge of that piece there. But we have got it. We have picked it up. And then all I'm going to do is bring in that sheet again, press it down on there, and just give it a jolly good rub to make sure mm. it's in place and again you can push it from the other side um, if you want to but the top side going into the transfer um, uh, sheet is the, the key thing really you've got that to that side because when you peel that away it doesn't really matter if you push down from that side mm -hmm. move the tray out of the way um, because then we're going to apply it to our sock um, and this is really easy you just need an iron you could use one of the Cricut um, heating um, pads that we had yesterday they were they're on um, but you don't have to if you don't want to if you haven't got one of those I've got one but I didn't want to bring it in because I didn't think I was worried in case you thought that you had to have that in order to ah, work with it right. you know, some people okay. don't always watch right from beginning to end yeah. sometimes people watch without um, the sound on so you wouldn't know so so. Go, go, go buy a special heat iron exactly for, for, yeah, um, or what I tend to do with something like socks or anything that's got any stretch in it and it's a good habit to get into because sometimes with the fabrics and the adhesive the the adhesive can go through the first layer now we're working with something quite thick with it regards to this because it's a pair of socks so it's oh, not likely okay. that the adhesive would go through but it just protects the underside and it's we're a good habit to get into yeah that's no it's it. a good call i would never yeah, thought of that good habit oh try not see this is what i'm saying about me being clumsy i don't look what's going on around me <laughs> honestly i'm terrible so we're making a pair of socks so we've got on look at the outside of your sock if you, you think of it as a pair because you don't want them on the inside really do you or you get them on so just double check to make sure you've got the right side don't stretch the sock because if you stretch the sock when it releases you'll find all of those gems are kind of bunched up in the middle there's no need to do that just lay them down as they are and then just kind of bring one um, against the other just to get the positioning right with it regards to them and obviously the design has changed slightly because of the way that they were done and just position them where you want them to go Again, just give them a little bit of a rub with your sweeping pad. 
and the adhesive that you've got there that's where you saw those little fluffy bits when we looked at it in close detail oh, earlier yes. and then just bring in one of those um, Teflon um, craft mats that many of us have got in our crafty stash and then just bring your iron in now the temptation whenever you pick up an iron is to do this because that's what you do with an iron yeah. you have your clothes yeah. but what you should really be doing is just letting it sit don't move it and ideally put your hand on there to give it a little bit of weight need to have it on a wall setting so that's kind of a cool, cool. to medium setting okay. um, and holding it when you're looking at fabric you're looking at at least 45 seconds right okay if you're working with um, a card stock or paper a little less than that probably about 30 seconds because there's nowhere really for the adhesive to go right, with the fabric see. it soaks into the fabric and bonds but when you are working with um, card stock then it can seep out and you can see underneath the gems if you're not careful and also if you're moving the iron what you can can do is once that adhesive is melting you move it and the, the glue is it's sliding yeah. it's not staying yeah. put which is it's quite a hard habit to get yourself into <laughs> not doing that with an iron um, just give it a few moments just to cool down a little bit because again that adhesive um, needs to set in place because it's some um, hot then you're going to pull them straight back off again but again with that you're going to go low and slow and this is what we saw at the beginning I kind of went in too quickly um, and I pulled it back too quickly I hadn't applied enough heat but you can see when you do oh, do it right you get it absolutely spot-on perfect and then what you can do go back in with your Teflon sheet and just go over the top again just to make sure that they are set in place and then that design of a unique designer pair of socks I could actually go off and sell those on my craft fair I could have an L and an R on there for left and right yes. it, could be little hearts. it could be whatever you Saturday, want Saturday Sunday Monday <laughs> get, a get a unicorn on there it's gonna exactly. fly out top tip though if you are doing something Socks. Don't do it too close to where the heel is or the ankle because you the don't shoe. want them to rub on the top of yeah. your shoes. Now that's a good point. Okay, there you go. How do we create a flexi buy order? Well, let's have a quick look and then we'll recap on all the goodies we've got on the show today. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is flexi order? When you place an item on flexi buy in your basket, you qualify for flexi order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Indeed, and we're going to see some more demonstrations from Haley. But let's have, just have a quick uh, recap on our one-day special. £30.83. What are we getting? We're getting three of those beautiful transfer sheets. That is the glue. Uh, well, actually, you've got the glue already on your rhinestones. And here they are down here, the clear ones as well. But you need the transfer sheets to take them from the templates. And with the templates, we've got two. We've got the hearts and the butterflies and the dragonfly and the little... Um, what a, the little ribbon there, yeah, the lovely charity ribbon or whatever you want it to be. And the star there, absolutely gorgeous. Then we've also got the alphabet set in the capitals with double letters there because obviously for spelling words, you know, there's S's, there's T's, there's vowels. It can be really irritating when you've only got the one. So I think that's absolutely brilliant, double of those there. And you also get your sweep away sponge as well, which you've just seen in action. Now in that gem pack as well of the clear, 1,440. Now, we have got extra on the show as well, so, but it's going to last you a, a, a while, definitely. So, full instructions as well in terms of creating your unique design and how to arrange it. So, you've got create, sweep, lift and apply. So, absolutely brilliant. Brand new today, £10 saving, 307995. A great kit to get you started. And most materials, most of the ones, all the ones... Um, if, if you can apply the heat to the material, then you can apply the rhinestones to said material, whether it be cloth, whether it be felt, whether it be socks, whether it be, uh, me me I don't know, metal. It's, it's, it's really whatever you can iron on. Okay, that's the best way to say it, really. Now, we've got our bumper pack as well, which you are loving, the ultimate bling pack, because obviously you're getting everything that you get in the starter kit, the alphabet, you are getting those clear rhinestones, and you're getting the dragonfly and the butterfly and the stars there. You're also getting rather than just three you're getting 20 now 
20 now of the transfer sheets, okay? So that is a big amount of transfer sheets there as well. But as Hayley said, she's used that one there four times now, so you can reuse them, but th they will eventually have a shelf life. Then we've got three more packs of the actual uh, rhinestones as well. We've got the colour ones there, the sapphire blue, emerald and the red, as well as that uh, lovely clear. And you're also getting two more of the templates. Yes, we're getting those lovely flowers which have a two-tone... Um, effect to them actually as Haley was explaining let me just show you this so you can get those color combos going and we've also got our dragonfly and our butterfly on a the side there they face in different directions but of course yours can face than our little ladybird beautiful aren't they and then there can you see the two-tone on the flowers there you see I'm, I'm dying to see how that works you see how, how does that work she'll, she'll, she'll all will be explained to me by our Haley. two flexi buy payments of 40 pounds look at that saving 21 pounds 71 and of course you use the uh, magnetic uh, templates over and over and over again so great investment three three four seven one one 79 pounds 99 two flexi buy payments of 40 pounds now the pick and mix of our rhinestones Haley said can you ever have enough fiona i was like no is the answer her top tip was go for another clear because you'll probably use that more than any of them and then choose another two so i think normally the price was around 10 pounds per pack 9.99 each but you are getting three for 21.99 yeah so forgive me i think that introductory price of saving three pounds is a bit of a throwing you a bit of a wobbly there because uh, this is just a great saving full stop so you get three for 21 pounds 99 you pick any of the three we've got tanzanite colors emerald citrine sun orange uh, sapphire topaz gorgeous black diamonds for a real classy look yeah very chic but get yourself another one of those clear as well aqua oh gorgeous array of colors there you pick any three for 21.99 yeah the sort of the holographic there that could clear as well isn't that oh look at that beautiful look at those whether you're decorating material quilts t-shirts embellishing glasses cases oh i don't know ties santa's sock hats belts handbags jeans pockets <laughs> names on socks names on pants i don't know whatever it is you're doing let's just label it with uh, with our big bling letters gorgeous there now we've got the big templates the large templates and these come in an array uh double down now i've got to get these in the right way double down is that this is our that's the first one here are, big alphabet big alphabet doubling the letters you see double rows of the actual um, rhinestones there so this is double down this is 19 pounds 95 two two three seven one oh then we've also got my favorite here we go variety you've got shamrocks and palm trees a musical notes and a flamingo I mean, what more could you want? Yeah. Then we've also got da -da -da -da, Christmas. Yeah, well, that's easy enough. Angels, Christmas trees, snowflakes, baubles, reindeers. We could colour his nose, couldn't we, as, as Haley said? And uh, snowmen there. We've also got the aerial font, which is in capitals. And also, I'm just showing you the bling version, but you can see they come in the magnetic sheets there. So in the capitals, yeah, we've got the wine diva. There we go. And then we've also got the script. There we go. Is that beautiful? I think the script's my favourite because I like that font in the uh, the lower lowercase. That view. There's something about that writing. Yeah, it's really beautiful. That I like that a lot. So same item code number, you choose which one you like, £19.95, Now we've also got the medium size as well, yeah, indeed. Um, whether we're embellishing our belt or our headband or, or even, a, do you know what they call those little eye masks? You've got your own mask, snooze, you lose, put whatever you want on it. Don't wake me, whatever you want to put on there. Hats, t-shirts, brilliant. So these are the medium. Now you can choose any of these, they've all got... Um, uh, well, they've all got the, the, the different emblems. You've got the Faith, you've got that lovely sewing machine that Taylor showed us right at the start. There's Faith. There is the sewing machine. You choose which one you want for £11.95. We've got the flourishes, we've got the snowflakes, we've got the bugs and the flowers. Gorgeous. So these are the medium-sized templates, 571, 587. So you've got quite a few choices there.
Six choices. You choose which one you want for eleven ninety five. And then we've got the pick and mix with the unicorn as well. Yes. Any two of these? Any two of these? Thirteen pounds ninety five. So you've got again. You've got your lovely flowers. You've got your ribbons there. Well, I should say sn snowflakes, not flowers. Forgive me, snowflakes. But well, I suppose they could, you could make them into flowers. The ribbons. We've got our crosses, embellishments there. Uh, whether it is a religious occasion or, or just because we like the symbol, we've got the unicorn. We've got our paws, our paw prints. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. And our hearts, which Hayley just showed us on the socks. Thirteen pounds ninety-five. You choose which two you want. Seven one six nine six six. Let's have a look at the website because we can shop ahead. If there's anything we've missed or I've not told you about, you can get extra uh, adhesive sheets on there. Don't forget that the um, that will pick up the actual rhinestones from your template. But the adhesive uh, fixes on the back of the, t of the actual gemstones, rhinestones themselves, I should say. And that's, that's the key there. Really brilliant. A really fast economical system for applying a multitude of gems to whatever your project is. All right, I'm back with Hayley. Right, I was just working on a couple of little swirls because we're going to oh. make a, um, a little kind of door hanger um, for maybe a little girl's um, room. Oh, got oh. one of those little gems that's just flipped over so where's my little poker tool let's just pop that back into place now we were talking about the letters earlier weren't mm -hmm. we Hayley? yes you, you did give me a top tip well this is it you don't have to worry about doing a mirror version of them in the past you might yeah. have had to sometimes when you're working with different mediums they're putting the alphabets and letters in place you do have to think of the name back to front and yeah. sometimes you have to draw a template but with this you don't have to worry these little embellishments that i'm making here i'm just going to keep these to one side and we might add these on um if we have time but just move those to the side okay. magnetic sheets really useful for actually storing them as well i've got another yeah. one over here with them on the base <laughs> just, just <use> <laughs> if you haven't got your magnetic sheets in your folders just that's use your baker tray yeah, you could use those steel yeah. baker tray yeah that's it um, and these Genius. are fancy ones they're just from the local supermarkets but Fantastic. you can pick them up as i say on the high street so we're going to be working with a little door hanger here and what I'm going to do is actually put a name on there oh. um, and we can use one of those two colour flowers as well. Oh good. The dots I was, that yeah. we've got here we can actually use those as the basis for the flowers as well oh. and it's worth mentioning that when you do actually pop out those um, stencils keep all of those the sheets all those elements that are left over because these are really useful for you to get creative with, with those designs. So for instance um, somewhere in here I've got the one with a unicorn I don't know what I've done with it. Maybe it's not in there. I thought it was. Um, but uh, you can keep those elements. So here you see, for instance, these are the paw prints. And what you could do with that is actually use that as a stencil. Put that down on yeah. top of your paper or card, ink through it, and then come back in with the paw print and oh, add the gems on top of the stenciled image. Yeah. So there's lots of creativity that you have got with this. So it's not just about adding the blink and that's it. Mm. So move that out of the way just for the time being because we're going to build up the name. So I'm going to use the alphabet set that comes with the one day special. Um, and we're looking at, oh, I don't know what name. Should we put Fiona on there? Let's put Fiona on. Oh, fee. Even, fee. Even, even, even quicker. Okay, do Just F, 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 -E. F, -E. F -E. Yeah, Oh, my friend had her. Because Fee's um, the, the surname Fee is Irish, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Sean, Sean and Marie Theresa Fee. I don't think you could oh, have yeah. any more of an Irish name <laughs> no. than that. Let me guess where they're from. Mm. <laughs> we need a shamrock now, it don't we? It did make me giggle because when her, her dad actually went to register her birth, um, he'd, he'd been celebrating down the pub with his mates beforehand and he got the names in the wrong <gasps> order. So it wasn't until she applied for a, a passport that she realised that the name that she'd actually been using for 18 odd years wasn't the name that she'd got on her birth certificate. Oh my goodness, oh, there we go. <laughs> and do you know what? That story not, does not stand alone. Oh, I, I think I, there's I many a story like I that. I bet it doesn't. Um, now with these, you've got repeats of some of those letters. So when we come to the, the word room, you've got two O's in there. You've got two E's in there, so we haven't got yeah. to worry about that. Um, putting these down and just laying them down exactly as you would do when you're working with them. Um, when you get them, they look like dominoes there, don't they? When they you do, get them, yeah. they are um, joined together. You just kind of snap them apart. So just give them a little bit of a wiggle and they will come apart. So you can see room there. Um, and of course, we need the letter S for fee. Um, I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap though, because we need the apostrophe. Yeah. Because we're going to do this grammatically correctly. Okay. With this alphabet set, you don't have an apostrophe. But that's not a problem. We can actually add one of our own. You can um, make one, can you? Add your bling. Well, you could just use the letter or... I. Yeah. And just add a couple of those oh, yeah. little gems there if you wanted to. Mm. So you might do that, do it that way. I've not actually worked with that, done, done that before, but we'll give it a go. Just put it at a little could you, angle. Could you freehand your apostrophe? Well, you, you could, could if you wanted to. Just yeah. put a couple of little elements yeah. in there. 
Now I'm going to bring up a room as well. Now I'm just going to make sure that that will all fit on. It should do. You can always do it at a jaunty angle if you mm -hmm. need to. What colour would you like your door sign to be, Fiona? Fiona? Oh, I like... You're not going to be able to keep this, by the way, because we need to okay. show it tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, plain, really. <laughs> uh, no, I like the blue. The blue, right, it's going with the blue. Um, keeping them in these little plastic tubs really is for Put the lids on there, but it just means you can actually sprinkle them on there and really get them going where you need them to go. As I've said, every single time, just be generous with them. Don't be stingy. You've got lots in there. And then when you do get them in place, it just makes it easier for you to get them where you need them to go. Now, using the sweeping pad, you just go backwards and forwards, gently but firmly. Slide it backwards and forwards, and you'll see as you move those gently, away quite often they fall into place all wow. by themselves and you can see that's exactly what's happened here got a few little ones in the middle there so you just kind of jump, there jump those out the way you can use a little brush or anything like that just to kind of tickle them and get them out of the way um, and just keep an eye open because as I say sometimes you do get ones that do get rather attracted to their little they friends just had a naughty one leap out well this is it they can do their sprightly yeah. little things if you're not watching them um, <laughs> nudge that one back into place so Beautiful that can go done. into there and then of course we don't need the all of those ones in the um, apostrophe so yeah. I can either lift that up and kind of move them out the way like that quite easily great it's a good idea not to get your fingers too much in the way because what you can do with the oils of your fingers is actually um, flip them around so oh, less is good. more yeah. but it's not the not the end of the world because you can just flip them over if they behave themselves and get them back into place there you go it's still not going little one okay, there playing. you go there you go, there we it's go. there. Tremendous. Move all the others out of the way because you don't yeah. want to pick up any of those on your travels. Um, you can move the stencils once they are on the sheet, but I do suggest you do that very carefully because if you move them too much and lift them, obviously you've got holes there and it could go right the way through uh -huh. and then you have to start again. But it's not the end of the world. What we do is just literally go back and pick them up again. <laughs> nothing, uh, nothing's been stuck down yet, so we're okay. Well, that's it. Now, we've got a little bit of the sheet here. Um, I tend to chop it to the right sort of size or roughly the right size. I'm leave that as this piece that we've got here uh -huh. and just lay that down on top go down quite quickly don't hover because if you hover what you might find is the static electricity kind of picks them up and they jump out oh okay but if it does happen don't worry because you can just nudge them back in you'll hear almost like a crunching noise as they go back into those little recesses give it a rub with your finger obviously you've got your sweeping pad you can get in there as well just make sure that they are adhered properly and then again just go in low, low and, and slow, slow. Mm. so um, don't lift it up at all right and um, right up right angles just gently peel it back on itself and you'll see those fabulous little gems all attaching to that transfer tape and you kind of hear a little kind of crunching noise as it goes um, again just lay it down um, and then put your transfer tape cover back on there rough size down in fact i don't think it really matters and then just give it a good rub just to make sure that those pieces are adhered don't worry if any of them jump around though because you do have the ability to dodge them around so there we go fees room Fantastic. so remove we'll that out of the way and we get that into place here um, and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use some of the other elements because i mentioned about the centers yes. of the, 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 the flowers. flowers so i'm going to pop that down there with the flower around there so i'm just kind of positioning things oh, to okay. make sure that they all fit on nicely um, it might be that you have to kind of maneuver things a little bit which we might have to do so um, what i might do is as i say don't have to worry just take those elements i'm just going to move take the um move, the e yes. Yeah, yeah, there's quite a big gap there, so I'm just yeah. going to take those and cut that, which might seem quite dramatic, but if you're going for that ultimate set, keep these pieces, because you will be able to use them. And then I'm just going to put that down, I think that will fit on more or less. There we go. So we can have it go horizontal. Gorgeous. See where you need to position it, just move that one out of the way. I'll pop it up at the top here, I think. Just about fits on there. Thank goodness your name isn't Alexandra. <laughs> because I think we It'll might have to short bit. Yeah. <laughs> Pop that down in place, so just get the uh, the rough idea of where you're wanting it to go, and then obviously come back in with that non-stick sheet wow. and go over the top. Again, the oh, heat the, is going to heat yeah. up those gems, heat up that adhesive, and set them in place. And please, 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 don't move the iron like I keep doing. 
keep telling myself, but I keep doing just it. Just hold it, Hayley. <laughs> I have to just hold it. So we got, you need another saying that will get you to yeah. the groove, you know, like you're low <laughs> and it, slow. Yeah. <laughs> um, and just 30 seconds, that's all that you need with regards to um, getting the heat in place. There's nowhere for that glue to go when you're working with these. With the fabric, it will go into the fibres. With your cardstock, it won't do. And you can, with your cardstock, peel it back pretty quickly. Now, you'll see that a few of those have lifted away, so I'm just going to pop that back down there. Yeah. And as I say, just pop it back on there. It's getting the balance right yeah. with regards to the heat, the pressure, and the length of time. But because you, if you go in nice and slowly when you're removing that transfer tape, you don't need to worry. You no. can just pop it back down again and then give it another little go and pull it back. Pull it back, we should be okay. Oh, that little one there has been a bit stubborn over that far side. Um, sometimes you do find the edges because you naturally press down in the centre. The edge pieces do sometimes get, get pressure, missed, yeah. yeah. So just make sure that you are um, pressing it on all of them. And sometimes with an iron, this I know when we were talking to, um, oh, who was, was it Emma yesterday? Mm. She was saying with the, the cricket pad, you've got all over heat. With an iron, I don't think you do. I don't the think distribution's they, slightly exactly, different. Exactly, yeah. Ah. yeah. Um, so hopefully those are going to be in place now. I think we're okay. Oh, there's a couple there. It's still quite warm, though, so it might yeah, be. Yeah, it might be a cooling down quick. thing. I've not worked on, this is actually grey board and I've not worked on grey board before so well, we're finding out. it's just getting that balance but this is what you'll be finding when you experience it at home because it can vary depending on the medium that you're working with but hopefully with a wing and a prayer there we, go. we might be there just a little a couple of those ones are kind of just right on the edge there but they should be okay but while the adhesive is still warm you could nudge them in slightly with your finger just be careful because it will be warm and then, of course, we need to pop that apostrophe S in there because we're going to be grammatically correct. <laughs> but now we have the ability to put those Maneuver wherever we it, want yeah. them to be and make sure that it fits in. And then we're going to go back in and do the flower. Oh, lovely. So, uh, yeah, um, obviously everything that I've worked with so far um, is, has come from the One Day Special. And the One Day Special does feature in the ultimate set as well so whichever yeah. you're going for you so far you are able to do that with the one day special exactly so. just get those extra sheets so transfer sheets you get the extra magnetic plates there in the ultimate one but that is the one day special 1440 of those clear gems your sweeper um sweeper what do you call it cushion that a sweeper? Um, your sweeping pad sweeping pad there uh, your alphabet in in the in the double letters there as well in the uppercase and then your butterfly and your stars and your dragonfly and uh, lovely shapes there as well and three of those transfer sheets for 30 pounds 83 pence 10 pounds saving 307995 and don't forget on the website we've got extra transfer sheets we've got extra rhinestones and we've got uh, those medium the small pick and mix templates as well and then we've got the ultimate kit at the bottom of the screen there for 79 pounds 99 I keep so sticking, there it is. everything sticking to everything. I am the messiest crafter out. So <laughs> anything that's self adhesive is going to get stuck to something that is not meant to be stuck to. And that's exactly what's happening here. I've got little bits of uh, transfer tape everywhere. So we've got your name on there. We've got Fantastic. feed room on there. We're going to work down the bottom here now with those little two tone flowers. Lovely. And again, when you pop these out from the stencil, um, from the backing, keep that. That is a perfect stencil. You could actually yeah. be inking through that, then adding your rhinestones, and then adding your rhinestones oh, in the colour in the middle. So lovely. You can get really creative with these. But we're going to go back in. This is where I need you to choose um, another couple of colours. Another what? colours. Oh, we've got an Oh, I'm going to go there. emerald green, of course. Emerald green's got to be there. So yeah. shall we have that for the inside of your flower? Yeah. Okay. And, and what about your petals? We've what have got, we got? We've got red, we've got clear, we've got gold. Oh, that's oh. citrine. Oh, go on then. Well, shall we go yellow? Let's go we'll for go a citrine. Lovely. Lovely, yeah. Okay. Um, so we can start off with the flower. Make sure I've got the circle. I think the circle's back over there still, isn't it? Somewhere. Is it on the bottom? It does, what does happen is, there you go. Oh, cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> I think magicians do that, you know. <laughs> I think I've just, uh, I found myself, I'll never be able to uh, enter the magic circle now because I've given away one of their secrets. I, d I don't know if it is a secret after that. <laughs> um, again, oh, look at the sparkle, That's Fiona. So you chose vivid. wisely. Yeah, look how um, pretty they are. Again, just sweeping left and right. You can see most of those are falling in there mm. as you go. Any that don't go exactly where you need them to go you just go back in and scrunch them give them a little bit of a rub um, and then they will kind of go into those spaces um, and uh, if you do have any that you need any to flip over just go back in with more give them a little bit of a, a rotation and you will find that they do tend to kind of uh, grind on each other and then they flip over as they go 
If you don't, um, or you, you're only left with about three minutes, which I think is pretty much where we are, um, <laughs> just move them out of the way, um, and then you can either do it by hand with a little pair of tweezers, um, or just move them with that little pokey, pokey tool, tool and yeah. just flip them over like so. Try not to get your fingers in the way if you can, because you can tend to flip others over as you're going in with those. Yeah. So rather than keep moving them around, we'll pop those into those little spaces, because I want to do the centre as well. As you do one, the other one pops out, little devils they are. Um, but so, yeah, as you go in with them, you can just literally just nudge them into place as you need them to go. Most times, though, you will find, as you'll have seen with many of the other demonstrations, they tend to jump in there. Yeah. Oh, it's pinged off that one. Bit tiggly winks going on there, and another one there as well. Flip that one over. Um, we need to choose a second colour, which we already have with the green. Yep. But um, actually, whoops, it is. I'm just going to pop a few of those on there up against the clock with regards to this, which I'm quite conscious of. This is where it's like, oh, come on, behave. Do as you're meant to do. That's all right. If, we don't, if we don't finish it, uh, we know Well, I'm not actually some... going to use the whole of the flower yeah. anyway, so I've probably got enough there to get away with it, um, to be honest. So I'm just going to sweep those out of the way, just for the time being. Get my transfer sheet and pick up the flower that we have got there. So hopefully we'll have enough of the flower that we can work with which I think we will do. And then just low and slow, we're gonna pull those elements out and put that tray to one side, rather than putting those gems away. Some of those have flipped over because obviously you saw earlier on that they weren't in the right direction, but move that one out of the way. Come back in with the sheet and your circle. Go back in with the greens, pop those down. And then again, just that little sweeping motion with these smaller ones. Look at that, straight in. Do you know what happened? It, 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 the second tin was on top of here, and when you pressed it, it bounced up. Oh, And they right. all jumped up and out. Oh, well, that's probably what yeah, it was. Yeah, because you've just this is just yes. the one now, and you've got it on the surface, yes. so it's not. Yeah, that is a good point. Yeah. And I did find that with one of the um, often baking tray, um, trays, when you use them, when they go in the oven, if you have them in the kitchen, you suddenly hear that like doink. And you yes. Think, what that? Yeah. And it's your baking tray that's moved with the heat. That. Yeah. I don't know what happens or why it happens, but anyway, Better there we expanding go. maybe? Could be something to do with that. So we've got our two pieces now, and it's up to you which way you do these, whereabouts you put them. But just for speed, I'm going to take those dots and pop them onto that piece there. It's Lovely. going off slightly, which isn't a problem, um, but it just fits perfectly in one of those circles. Um, and yeah. if anybody's wondering, the actual um, uh, stencil that I've used, it's one of the clarity ones. I think it's called Bubbles. We've probably got that on the website, but uh, that will put those little gems in place there. It's probably a little bit warm, to be honest, because I pulled it straight off. But we'll get the gems in place and I'll add the uh, set, second set. Um, a little bit later on to add those outer parameters. Yeah. What, what, what time's your show tomorrow, Hayley? Um, so I'm back see. on at nine o'clock in oh, the morning. Oh, so we can see so the finished one maybe yeah. at nine. Um, I'll, I will finish it off, but basically for anybody that's watching, you would just go back in with your second sheet, rotate that to wherever you want it to go. Ah. Um, obviously, once you've peeled that off, Put those petals in place, and then and you that's build how we get our two tone. Lovely, it. thank you, Haley. Well, Just thank you very much. Clock. Speed <laughs> rhinestone the flyers there. Uh, enjoy the rest of your evening, and uh, do watch us on replay. But Haley, we'll be back with a one-day special. Oh, thank you so much for all your top no tips and thank hard work. You. Have a lovely evening, and we'll see you again in the morning.